Hey guys, this is Justin from AndroidMeter.com and today we're going to show you the setup process of using CyanGen installer on the Nexus 4. Okay, so I was lucky enough to become one of the beta testers to, for the CyanGen mod or CyanGen installer they've dropped the mod so far and so I'm going to show you how to easily do it on the Nexus 4 so it starts off with downloading a simple app from the Play Store you start it up and it says welcome it's saying that you're going to need a Windows computer running Vista or sooner or newer you can't use any Linux or Mac operating system not yet of course or not yet unfortunately it also warns you that it's also going to factory reset your device. So we hit begin. It shows us that we need to turn on USB debugging, which it shows you exactly what to do. It takes you to the place to do it. So USB debugging turned on. Takes us back to installer. We're going to have to set it so that when we connect it to the PC, it sees it as a camera. So we're going to do that. And then it says to get the beta installer software for the computer, which we already have pulled up here. You'll go to a website like this. You just download a simple um, executive file, and they'll download to your computer. So we have that over here. We'll start that up. Run it anyway. Okay, so plugging this in. And now it's inspecting the device. And so it's saying to allow USB debugging, which we've already done. So let's turn it, let's disable it. All the other or revoke the rights. Maybe this will ask for it again. So, okay. Always allow. Okay. Now we wait. Oh, now it's downloading the recovery software. So we can see a little bar down the bottom as it's downloading the operating system now. So basically what normally when you would try to do this by yourself manually, you would have to download all these separate packages from separate websites, meaning like the recovery and the operating system itself was always packaged together. But then if you wanted the Google applications, you had to go to another website so you could down so you can install that zip while you're flashing Cyanjamon. Now this does it one big thing, one quick installer, and it's supposed to make it a lot easier for anyone that wants to hack their phone basically. So we'll be right back as soon as something else happens. Okay, so it's we're back and it says everything is ready, your device, Google Nexus 4, which is what we have. And then it's saying that part of the process, it'll factory reset the phone, make sure you import everything, and then we just hit install. And now it says installing, do not unplug your device. And the phone just restarted itself. It's now in recovery mood mode. I want to say that my bootloader was already unlocked or else it would have gone through the process of asking you to unlock the bootloader which it would have already gotten you to the software or to the menu where you do it manually on the phone but because I already had it unlocked we are going straight to installing which you can see it is doing right there we 
we'll be back when something else happens. So now we can see that we are installing new software onto the phone. Because every time you see this little Android guy, it says you're doing something to the actual software and on the internal part on like the operating system and the recovery and everything else. So now we're back to SID and we're just waiting for, I'm guessing this SID to fill up all the way, meaning that we are completely done. So at the bottom right now it's installing the system applications, which means that it's installing like your all your Google applications and everything that would be installed when you have a stock build of Android. And now it's just finishing up. And now right here it says installation complete. Congratulations, you have success successfully installed CyanogenMod. Mod. We're still not booted up here yet, but I'm guessing that's what it is doing right now. And there's your proof that CyanogenMod is installed. We'll see, we'll make sure that it fully boots correctly and that everything is working 100%. But that has got to be one of the quickest install times I've ever had put on a custom ROM on any device, even a easily, easily, easily hacked Nexus 4 or any Nexus device for that matter. And there we go. Welcome to CyanogenMod. And right off the bat, Google search has stopped. <laughs> so you can see that we now have CyanogenMod fully working on there. It's Android version 4.2.2 .2 and on the Nexus 4. Being a Nexus, you don't necessarily need to put a custom ROM on your device because you always have the most up-to-date updates. So we'll be coming back in another video showing you how to use this installer on the Samsung Galaxy S3, which will be a little bit harder of a process, but, but will show just the usefulness of this installer. This has been Justin from AndroMeter.com, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.